Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy, low-carb, keto-friendly panna cotta full of chocolate. It's just a lovely gelatin dessert for when you want a lovely rich dark chocolate sweet treat and as always I've written a blog post which I'll leave down below which has the full recipe and step-by-step -step instructions too so click through for that and be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment too let me know if you give this dessert a try and what you think of it so let me show you how to make it so just roughly break up a block of chocolate and just set it aside for when so when you're ready for it it's wet ready and waiting and all chopped up for you now I'll get our gelatin prepped into a bowl, pop two teaspoons of gelatin. So there's two teaspoons of gelatin in the bowl and we'll add on a third of a cup of water. I'm just using a kettle because it's easy to transport but you don't need to have boiling water, it's just regular water will do. And we'll just give that a good stir through. Make sure it's all kind of dissolving in there. Okay, now we've got that. We'll pop it aside and work on our cream mixture. Now into a saucepan, pour a cup of cream and a half a cup of your milk of choice. And now we'll pop it onto the stove top and bring it up to heat and we'll remove it as soon as it just, just before it comes up to simmering point. So I've got the cream on the heat, <laughs> nothing really to see here. We've just got to keep a watch on it, give it a stir, and as soon as it comes to summer, remove it from the heat. So yeah, just keep giving it a stir. I can hear it's almost at the simmering point. You just hear it almost bubbling below the surface. When that happens, then we'll just take it off the heat. There you go, it's steaming, just about starting to simmer, so we'll take it off the heat now and mix in the chocolate. So we'll add all the chocolate in and mix it well to get it all melted. Okay, once you're happy you've got a smooth creamy mixture, then we can mix in the gelatin. In the time we've been making the panna cotta, you can see the gelatin's kind of set into this jelly-like substance. So we'll add it all in and give it a really good whisk in. I would definitely say have a quick little taste of it now. Make sure that it's sweet enough to your liking. If I, I love it dark, so I'm keeping it like this. But if you want it sweeter, add in now a few tablespoons or even a quarter of a cup of sugar, stevia, up to you so that while it's warm now it'll have a chance to dissolve. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now we're just going to let it cool to room temperature and then I like to pour it into a jug and then into my serving dishes. So that's what I'm going to do next. Just allow it to kind of cool. It's still ooh, quite hot. So just get it to cool to room temperature and then we'll pour it out. So I've got my panna cotta in a jar just to make it easy to pour and just pour out portions. and then just allow to cool completely and then pop it into the fridge to set and I will show you once it's done. So there you go, the panna cotta has been in the fridge for a few hours and it's set up beautifully and if we grab a spoon and pop it in you'll see, oh that's just the perfect panna cotta texture. It's lovely and creamy and just oh beautiful, rich and decadent, just makes such a lovely dessert that is super easy to put together as you saw and it's just a rich oh, you can smell the chocolate it's incredible so good uh, that is the video for today thank you so much for watching be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment to let me know if you give this lovely chocolate panna cotta a try and what you think of it so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye